In this video, I'll show you how to integrate DHT MLX Scheduler with the progressive JavaScript framework Vue.js. We'll create a basic scheduler in a Vue.js app, extend its functionality with custom features, and make it listen and react to user actions in real time. Please note that every line of code you see here, you can copy in the article on our blog. The link is in the video description below. Firstly, we need to create the skeleton of our app. For this purpose, we're going to use the Vue command line interface. If you don't have one, you can easily install it with the Node Package Manager using the following command. In order to use Yarn in a project, it must be installed globally in the system. To create an application, let's run the following command. You'll be asked to pick a preset. Now you need to go to the app directory, install dependencies, and run your Vue.js app. You can use Yarn or NPM. Here we go. Your app now runs on localhost. At this point, we're going to add DHX scheduler into our app. Let's run the command. Then we'll go to the app directory and create a folder with the scheduler file there. In the newly created scheduler component view file inside the components folder, we will add the next lines of code. Congrats! The scheduler component is ready. When the element will be added to the page, it will initialize scheduler under the scheduler component reference property. Afterward, scheduler will load data from the events property. Now, the final step is to add the component to our Vue.js application. Open the app view file and replace the code there with the next lines. As a result, you will see DHX scheduler with predefined events on the page looking like that. Now, I will show you how to track and process changes made by users in our scheduler. For example, we may need to show details of selected events in a separate form, update the data model of the parent component, or send these changes to the backend. For that purpose, we can capture the scheduler API events and emit them to the parent component. So let's see how to create a simple change log with all the changes made in scheduler noted down in a neat list on the right side of the page. At first, you should go into the scheduler component and add the code that will trace and emit scheduler changes. After that, we should call this method before initializing the scheduler. This code adds handlers to the create, update, and delete events of the scheduler. If a particular handler is called, it will trigger the view event on our component with parameters. Secondly, you need to attach event listeners to the app component and write a log of actions in another container. With this code, we equipped our app component with the array property for storing log entries. We specified a new method for adding messages on top of our array so that new entries can be displayed first in our log. We also added a new method for creating log messages for the actions performed with tasks and links and for adding them to the message stack. Now, we only need to update the template of the app component to apply these functions. There you are. Summing up, we've created a simple two-column layout of DHX scheduler, attached our log handlers to the scheduler events that we emit from the scheduler module, added a container for log messages, and bound them to our log messages stack. Just to check everything works fine, try to make some changes to the scheduler. Messages should be displayed on the right side. These were three simple steps for creating a view scheduler in DHTMLX. The demo application can be found in our GitHub repository. Browse DHX scheduler webpage and download a free 30-day trial version. Our tech support team will be eager to help you during the evaluation.